I'm um, talking about earlier, spiny lobster is one of the most valuable fisheries in the Florida. And also due to its high value, various of the assessment model have been developed to try to understand the population dynamic of the spiny lobster. However, those um, stock assessment results did not yield the satisfactory results. Um, here is some um, summary of the previous stock assessment. So the previous workshop for the stock assessment was held in 2010 in the Keys. In the stock assessment workshop, two models have been proposed to understand the population dynamic. The first one is the integrated capture age model, which is age structure model. The second one is the modified delivery model with a logistic biological model. Um, so the result of this workshop has been rejected by the panel review and the, re um, and the review have expressed a concern on three big points. The first one is the um, uncertainty associated with the nature mortality due to the PAV1 of the juvenile uh, spiny lobster. The second one is our limited knowledge um, between the recruitment and the spending stock. The third one is the imprecise and the um, an imprecise and the uncertainty associated with the age estimation. Um, therefore, it's a great opportunity for us to develop a new type of stock assessment that can, we can use for spiny lobster, which is a size structure one. So, um, based on the biology of the spiny lobster and the three concerns, um, we developed this size structure model. So for the first problem, we um, set our recruitment instead of the uh, instead of the paraline that will be super um, super sensitive to the PAV1. We set the recruitment to 60, uh, 46 millimeter, which only five percent of um, uh, juvenile spine lobster had been seeing being affected by PAV1. So we try to avoid the first concern. The second one, instead of a link, the spending biomass, we actually just, um, that the model is, uh, estimate the recruitment. And the third one, of course, that's what size structure model is for, is instead of using age, we use size as a structure. So here is the model structure of our model. So it's quite similar as the age structure model. However, do you see the each thing? So instead of the age as a traditional age structure model, these are each size. So what happened is at each end, the, at the end of each time unit, each um, abundance, each lobster inch size will go through a growth transition matrix, which will determine well, um, where all these lobster jump to another size, um, the next size. And at the, in the beginning of each time unit, the recruitment will also come in into the stock and instead of going to one specific size, it's actually been distributed into three, the first three sites. And if you're curious, this is the model flowchart. And from the right outside, this is the dynamic of this model. So in each in the beginning of each time unit, the recruitment come into the model and the recruitment um, in each time unit will go through one or several um, or several different life history process like they will grow or they will die due to the nature mortality, they will die due to the um, fishery mortality or the well um, spawning. And in our model, we also use a um, Bayesian estimator and we also estimate the uncertainty of the model and estimate fishery status and bioreference points. Um, all right, now I'm gonna um, separate different parts of a model. The first one is recruitment. So we, as we mentioned before, we're gonna estimate recruitment. However, we do need to put on some strain on the recruitment. We select, uh, we are using um, Paraline um, long-term monitoring conducted by FWC. This long-term monitoring has been conducted since like, I think in the 80s and it's still going on. Uh, what we do is we use this as a recruitment indices. Um, however, one thing I have to mention is the ProRide program is actually monitoring the recruitment of this uh, parallel, which is about six millimeter. And as I mentioned before, the recruitment actually put in our model is about 46 millimeter. So these indexes cannot be directly using our model, 
we can, um, after we talked to some expert, we found out it takes from 10 to 12 months for this six millimeter perline to grow into our recumen. So what we do is we use this indexes at a 10 or 11 or 12 month delay, and we um, get the, the recumen indexes for using for our model. The next one is growth transition matrices, how we model the growth. I know for you, it's basically just different um, different blocks, so different things, but how are we going to look at this? So for each block, is actually a distribution indicating uh, indicating the probability of the different size that spiny lobster going to jump into the other, um, at, uh, at jump into at the end of time units. Um, you will be asking me where this come from. It's actually determined by an external model and the neutral time limit. If you have a question about this, I have another like 35 pages about how to determine this. We can talk about during the question time. And the survival sub model of the size structure is very similar to the age structure. So for each year, for uh, each time unit of each um, fishery method, will determine the catch. And we will estimate the fish mortality of each year. And the S here is the selectivity. So we actually use four type, four type of difference of selectivity for this model. The track selectivity was um, using by a paper published by Leon's 1981. And we also have the conservation selectivity, which is respond to the regulation that you cannot take any spine lobster that a female spine lobster that bearing egg from the water. And uh, the legal selectivity is quite straightforward. Um, there's a regulation that forbidden to catch any lobster smaller than 75 characters length. And also we have a group of selectivity. We cannot model like straightforward, like um, the encounter rate between the spine lobster and the trap. And we let the model estimate this part. So the other thing um, of the survival um, step model that I want to mention is the nature mortality. So um, we plan to estimate the nature mortality. We plan to let the model estimate it. However, this will require a long time data set from the marine reserve area, which the fishing uh, the, the commercial fishing is absent. And we try different scenario, it doesn't really work out. So for the current model, we actually fix this um, nature mortality to 3 um, 0 0.34. And it's a way stay consistency with the previous uh, stock assessment model. However, after we have a better estimation of nature mortality, um, our model is capable of like changing this number or use a different pattern of this number. So the other the other factor we use um, to turning the um, to estimate the um, commercial fishery is the effort data. So we got this data set from FWC, um, and it's basic. Uh, the, so the way we the way estimate effort is we use the trap fishermen use and uh, the soaking um, and the product of trap a uh, number of trap they use and the soaking time. And we talked to some experts in FWC. They think we might should just use the number of trips each fisherman take. Yes, an effort. Um, the good thing about this model is we can switch different scenarios. So this could be something we can try different scenario in the future. The other thing I want to point out in this graph is if you look 2005, we can see there's a drop down on the effort. And I think most of people here probably know the reason. It's the same thing regarding to what Dr. Carl said before. It's because of a hurricane. So we are expecting to see the very similar pattern this year too. And what I mentioned here is some of the um, fishermen in the case think this is not going to be an accurate estimate because they are heavily impacted by the hurricane. So we are thinking about remove the data point or remove the whole year of data point from the estimation. Um, so now the model is up to running, but we still need to have an um, idea of how the fishery status. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, estimate the comprehensive catch, which instead of a different category, we actually estimate one fishing mortality of all the category. 
and the spending biomass, which is the average spending stock biomass at the middle of the year. All right, so here's the result part. Um, we do get um, we do get a result from the model. Um, which you can see, we do see there is a decrease in the commercial fishing. Um, in the early twenty, uh, in the early twenties, however, it is being increasing in the recent year, and we can see the recreational app is decreasing. And that's the that's the recruitment. We can also see there is an increasing recruitment in the early 20s. However, it's been decreasing and going up again. And definitely for the abundance in the water, it's definitely decreasing. And because uh, we also want to understand the uncertainty associated with this model, we did two tests. One is sen uh, sensitivity analysis because we worry about um, we are now very uh, certainty about the uh, nature mortality, so we tried to use different mortality, uh, nature mortality, and we found that the pattern is very similar. However, they do um, have a, a, a little bit of variation, and then we also do a retrospective analysis, which is we're hiding the most recent year data and see how the model will respond to that, and we can see that the model is tend to overestimate if we're hiding the most recent year of the data. However, you have a really similar trend, so, we, um, so we, uh, we think you can accept this result from our model. And then we also have a biological reference because there is no clear trade between the spanning biomass and recruitment, we cannot really estimate the MSY. So what we do is we use the, um, um, the SSB um, related to different fish mortality as a proxy, and we can see as the fish mortality increasing, the MSB is decreasing for sure. And we use um, SPR 20% or 10% as a reference point at this point. And we see most of fishing mortality over recent years is below the um, SBR 20, however, it's above SBR 10. However, we do need to have more discussion. We would like to invite more scientists to de determine which, um, which point should be the bioreference point. All right, uh, compared to the previous stock assessment, this is a result from the Delari stock assessment. And we found that um, we have a very similar trend in the recreational estimation, which we are slowly lower. However, for the commercial, the delivery model predict a decrease in the app. However, we our model um, predicting an up, um, an up training. And we by top two people from FWC, they think that the fish mortality did not decreasing like what the delivery model was described. So it seems our model have um, more you know close estimation of what's really happening. So we do have some future um, modification we want to. Um, apply flow model and the flow time limit. We're gonna we can discuss more in the discussion section. Um, by this, we want to thank Seagram for funding this project. We want to thank FIU and the FWC assessment team and the FW, um, FWC lobster team. And I will join everybody in the panel. And if you have more question, thank you.